Were the three of you here last night? Who's asking? Just tell me, were you? None of your business. All three of us were here. The whole night? The whole godless night. Hmm. You seem to be very relaxed. My wife gave me the day off. And that, after I spent half of last night carousing. A good woman. Just drinking? Not much. I had to play cards with my friend here, after all. Who won? Well, I did. This bum was a lot more drunk than I was and had to run outside all the time. Was he gone long? No. Not very long, but long enough. Stupid. You should never leave an experienced player completely alone at the table in the middle of a game. An expensive lesson, but a necessary one. Why are you staring at the boy like that? I'm counting the lice on his head. Don't distract me. Did you do that last night too? No. Last night I got stewed and did my father proud. By Swafnir, did I quaff a lot. So you were here the whole evening? Yeah, right in this spot. Hey you, wake up. Mm -hmm. Where were you last night? Playing cards. And? Drinking. The whole evening? I don't know. Maybe. I think one of you is lying. And who is that supposed to be? The sleepyhead there. And what makes you say that? The two of you are wide awake. He, on the other hand, looks like he's been up all night. No, he just drank too much. Come back when you know what you're talking about. Then I'll buy you one. I thought you didn't see me. Hello, Hilda. Since when are you the new barmaid? Oh, since the sewing season. Did you miss me in the marketplace? I was just asking. What kind of wine is that? <laughs> That's Red Geron, Geron. From the North Marshes. Sounds delicious, huh? Actually, it sounds like someone owes me a sample. I'm sorry, but this barrel has been ordered and paid in advance by Count Fendrick Rosling. He's going to pick it up tonight. Can you tell me who was here yesterday evening? Everybody that's here now. And then Wolfram, with his sister and two friends. But they say something happened to them in the forest yesterday. Thanks. That's all I need to know. Oh, come on, Hilda. Nobody will miss that little bit of wine. I'm sorry, but this barrel has been ordered and paid in advance by Count Fendrick Rosling. He's going to pick it up tonight. See you later, Hilda. Don't keep me waiting. Hey. I think one of you is... And who? I'm not... So you fleeced your sleeping friend playing cards? Yes. Every time he left me alone at the table, he came back a sure loser. That shows how inexperienced he is in games and in alcohol. You were stretched out drunk on the table the whole evening. Is that a crime? No, 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 I'm just asking. You spent the whole evening here playing cards and drinking. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. That's all I'm going to get out of him. One of you went to help, and I want to know who. Beat it. No one here is ratting out anybody. Exactly. Hmm. If I want a confession, I'll have to be a little more clever than that. I think one of you is lying. And who is that supposed to be? You. And what makes you say that? You said you were alone every time your friend went out to relieve himself. There's no one here who can testify where you were during that time. Yes, there is. His purse. If I had taken off... How could I have won every blasted game? And now, leave me alone. Hey. I think one of you... And who? The Thorwalian. And what makes you say that? 
He keeps dodging my questions. I'm sure he's got something to hide. Yeah, my fist. What? <sighs> Next time I should be very, very sure before I accuse a Thorvalian of lying. Hey. You were stretched out drunk on the table the whole evening. Is that a cr No. I think one of you is lying. And who is that supposed to be? The Thorwalian. And what makes you say that? He claims to have been passed out here all night. But you said that you were alone every time you cheated at cards. Hmm. That's true. Now that you mention it... He was gone a pretty long time. Shh. Quiet. I have to count. Where were you? Not with my wife again, were you? Blast. Now I'm miscounted. Hey, I asked you a question. Stop arguing. And please leave my guests alone, Geron. I'm sorry, Hilda, but this is an important matter. I know. I was there. What? I'm the one you're looking for. I saw it all. I was drunk and Geron. I didn't know what they were up to. I thought they were just fooling around. Tell me what happened. Wolfram said the Tulamedes are in league with the demons and merely disguised as simple merchants. Supposedly, they're trying to smuggle a dark artifact into the country. He said they want to use it to overthrow King Ephedon and turn all women into love slaves. First, Hartman was supposed to sneak into the tent and steal the artifact, and then signal to us with his lantern. That was supposed to be the sign to attack. But it didn't get that far, did it? I don't know. It's all so hazy. Try to remember. I'll try. I remember. It had just stopped raining when we finally reached the clearing. Demon. Oh, Geron, it was so horrible. There were horns growing out of his body all over, and he had a long, glowing staff on his back. Just like the princess. Promise me things will soon be the way they used to be. Don't worry. I'll take care of it myself. Will you now? Um... Come outside with me, will you? Last. If the school learns of the demon rumors, they'll take the case away from me in an instant. Hmm. What shall I do with you? You could let me go. We're well beyond that point. Do you also believe it was a demon? And why am I asking you? You probably believe everything you're told. <laughs> a demon in Andergas? That's quite unheard of. It would certainly stir things up around here. That it would, indeed. All right, it's decided. What? Here's charcoal and parchment. Have Hilda draw you a picture of the attacker. We have to know exactly what we're dealing with here. We? Then find out what the beast wants. Maybe there's something we can use as bait. As bait? Right. And third, I need an astral accumulator. Well, my own astral energy probably won't be sufficient. Sufficient? For what? We need to be well prepared if we're going to set up a trap. Do I have to do everything by myself? You want to catch a full-grown demon? You're just a lowly novice. <sighs> I can beat the other novices with one hand tied behind my back. And yes, I want to catch it. And banish it. Of course it's risky. But I'm not going to miss out on the adventure of my life by being careful. All that's missing is the drawing of the demon, bait, and the astral accumulator. And then we can get started. 
I thought you didn't want me to get into danger. Oh, I just wanted to get rid of you. I thought you were just a curious lumberjack. Now I know you're one of those would-be heroes, and I have sympathy for would-be heroes. I would also rather leap fully unprepared into a dark dragon's cave and risk my life than spend my day shearing sheep. Besides, time is short and I need help. You could have had the whole school of magic behind you. As soon as they find out that I'm hunting a demon, they'll pull me right off the case and let the masters do it. And I'd hate to let them have all the fun. I don't know what I should think of this woman, but if I don't play along, she might find Fahi before me. So, you need a drawing of the entity, bait to lure it, and, uh... An astral accumulator. Here, I wrote it down for you, and you'll need this as well. A ring with a lens? That's another artifact from Alric's collection. It's called a hare's eye, an invention of the Master de Hoto. If you look through it, you can see traces of magic in the environment. Try it. Stay here. I need to be sure that you have understood how to use the lens. Did you see anything? These glass shards. Did they glow? Yes. That means someone cast magic on them. Maybe even our friend. Keep following the trail. Maybe there'll be a hint of what he's looking for. I can keep the hare's eye? Why not? The spell only lasts three days anyway. After that, the lens is worthless. And what if I follow the trail and run right into the beast's arms? Then you scream. Good luck. You can find me in the clearing. Who have I come across now? By the way, my name's Bryder. I'm Giron. Good hunting, Giron. On a rather unusual sort of hunt. Can you draw me a picture of the attacker? I can try. That's him. That's what he looked like. Is that a magic staff on his back? Thanks, Hilda. You've been a big help. I just hope they catch that monster as soon as possible. I won't be able to get a moment's sleep until then. Don't worry. I'm already working on it. Thank the gods. Tracks lead up to my window. I wonder how my life would have been if they'd lived. What's that? More broken glass? Somebody was here last night. Someone who by the light of the lantern picked something apart piece by piece and watched us sleeping at the same time. What's going on here? I tried everything. I asked nothing and anyway, I hope this... There's nothing left here. Whatever was here didn't make much of a ruckus. Just watching. I can see a faint glow above the School of Magic, but the mages are responsible for that. Just watching.
The whole clearing is glowing. There's so much magic in the air here, I can't even see my own hand. Whatever came through here is capable of climbing. I'd better not distract him. The sheep will be slaughtered soon enough. The school courtyard is quiet. The students are probably out on manoeuvres in the woods. Hey there, bird catcher. The school of arcane combat is only for mages and novices. What are you doing here? Master Bodiak asked me to come. He has an artifact I'm supposed to tell him more about. All right. His room is on the second floor, right next to the staircase. Master Oakwood's old room. How do you know that? Long story. I'll be going. And don't stray. If I see you anywhere other than in the master's room, you'll be out of here on your ear. There's a faint glow coming from the door on the right. Hard to believe that mages are doing research here. There isn't a trace of magic in the entire library. Only a faint glow between the shelves back there. Hello? Oh, hello my friend. You don't look like you belong here. Can I help you with something? Who are you? <laughs> Me? I'm studying here. Magic, combat, bit less magic, lot more combat. Anybody who dreamed of magic as a child soon loses those illusions here, unless they come to me. What does that mean? I'm putting the magic back into magic. And how are you doing that, you ask? Well, that all depends on the needs of my customers. What can you tell me about Bryda? Oh, Bryda is brilliant. The masters are all crazy about her. She's definitely one of the good ones. She believes even more in the magic within things than I do. All those piffling spells these days must bore her to tears. What are you doing here? I'm in bed with a cold, while the others are running around in the forest playing war. It looks more like you're kneading little lumps of honey. Correct. But except for you and me, nobody knows that. I'm looking for an astral accumulator. Hmm. You know more than one might think from looking at you. A genuine astral accumulator is very rare and valuable. A novice with rich parents hired me to steal old Owlies so he could cheat in the examination. Owly? Master Alric. It's an open secret that he's obsessed with rare artifacts. The artifact hunters in the Hisinda temple had better not find out, though. Who knows? Maybe one day that knowledge will help me pass my own examination. Where do I find the accumulator? In the dormitory. What are you really doing? Why the honey? By a rather circuitous route, I came across a spell from Poonin. It cost me a few small favors, but it was worth it. Do you see these honey coins I've pressed? Watch. Harden what's soft and stem the flow. The honey is now as hard as stone, but unfortunately it's still too translucent to pass as real gold. But with the right mixture, it could work. 
You can harden liquids? I'd rather call it upgrade. My honey to gold experiment is only the beginning. I'm open to further suggestions at any time. All those old languages, Bosperano, ancient Tulamedia, couldn't they settle on one and stick to it from the beginning? Get out of here! Hmm, nothing happened. The wood is too far gone already. Hmm, nothing happened. The wood is too... I've got the Astral Accumulator. <laughs> no, you don't. That's Flea Helm, stupid talisman. Absolutely worthless. If you want the real Astral Accumulator, you'll have to keep an eye out for something magical. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. It's me again. May the gods be with you, old. You can harden liquids? I'd rather call it upgrade. My honey to gold exp. I'm open. Nuri's old necklace. I'm carrying it with me until she can wear it again. I don't see anything special. I'll leave all that stuff. There's a glow around the lamp. This could be the astral accumulator Bride is looking for. I re Is this what an astral accumulator looks like? If you disguise it as a lantern like Owly did, then yes. Yes? Ah, here he is. What do you want? It's about the mask. What about it? 
What's so important about the mask? Is it dangerous? Only for someone who has a command of ancient Tullamedia. The rest is of no concern to you. Where did you take it? It's my responsibility to keep the unconcerned far from any magical developments. That applies especially to hotheads who consider themselves to be budding magicians. I want my artifact back. Your artifact? According to Bryder's report, you just stumbled upon the mask. If you don't intend to tell me anything more about the mask... We may as well change the subject, yes? Have you found out what happened last night? Why would that interest a bird catcher? Um, people are afraid. Ah, those pig farmers are scared of everything. That's why it's important to resolve this case as quickly as possible. We can't have the rabble taking matters into their own hands. And we saw last night what can happen to a mindless mob. You're suddenly so cheerful. <laughs> can't an old man be happy once in a while? I just mean with the petrified people and the rumours about a demon... All nonsense. Soon everything will be just as before. You seem to be very sure of that. That I am, my boy. That I am. I'll be leaving then. It's about time. This is the last time I was looking for spells that might be able to help Nuri. But all I could find were wilderness guides and fighting instructions. Nothing. Hmm? This is the shell the man pressed against the pillars before. I'll take it with me. What happened here? There's nothing to cut. This one hasn't seen anything. didn't even get a good look at his attacker before he ran away screaming. What a coward! He's got nothing interesting in his head. By the gods, what was that? I'll sketch it right away. The whole thing was an ugly glass box. There's a gap in the lid, as if one single piece was still missing. What's that? The astral accumulator. Odum Arcanum. Geron, that thing isn't even magic. I'm afraid you've fallen for a red herring. Well, great. Don't get rattled. Maybe your first trail was right and you just let yourself get distracted. And use the lens this time. Is this what you're looking for? Odum Arcanum. Yes, yes, that's it. Good work. It won't get any more detail than this. Ooh, doesn't have any eyes. Thanks, Geron. That should suffice. Does this tell you anything? 
by Fex. That's it. That's the glass box that was stolen. Where did you find it? In the road. Someone picked it apart, shard by shard. Yes, and kept only the rubies. There are rubies missing? Yes, the hole in the lid held a glass ruby. Someone's going around stealing rubies? Yes. Supposedly, several have disappeared between here and the Midden Realm in recent weeks. I should tell Bryder about that. May I have the box back now? Oh, it, it just broke in my hands. Oh, keep it. This is all pointless anyway. The whole thing wasn't... There's a gap in the lid. I'm sorry, but this he's going to pick. Oh, come on. The wine now flows freely to the ground. This is going to take a while. I'll just put the carafe under the drip and have a look at the ham while I wait. Fex be thanked. She didn't notice a thing. Thank you, Geron. Don't mention it. Wine. The gap in the lid is now full of red wine. This is all the last time I was at all. Can you harden this wine for me? Terrific idea. That would give us a ruby, right? Of course I can. But what's in it for me? What do you want? Hmm. Nothing from here in Andergast. I can get all that myself. They tell me Tullamedes are in the country. Bring me something unusual from their tent, and maybe we can make a deal. Nonsense. I found this cucumber. Show me. And now the wine. Harden what's soft and stem the flow. One freshly forged ruby for my new best friend. Whatever you're planning to do with it, I suggest you hurry. The effect won't last long. What's so special about that vegetable? <laughs> Let's just say it doesn't just fill you up. Nice doing business with you. Since everything points to our attacker liking rubies... Here. <laughs> I know where that came from. The theory with the ruby is a bit far-fetched, but I can't think of anything better myself. You need to stand further away. I'm preparing the magic circle now. How much farther is it? What? What is it? I thought you said something. Hmm? No. Unfortunately, I can only create the basic conditions. I'll only know the right spell when I see the beast. 
I'm amazed the mob didn't run away from the tent. The attacker probably came out of the woods. To Draconia. How much further is it? This time I heard it too. I'm so tired all of a sudden. By the gods, Geron, the tree! It was here the whole time. What do you want? I'm hungry. I need to eat. If I starve before the mask gets to Draconia, you won't see a single shilling. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm a child of the city. I don't know my way around here. It's still many miles to Draconia. We've only just begun to climb the mountain. I have to eat. Give me silver. Silver? The silver platter from the burial chamber. Give it to me. Princess, he seems to be offering you a trade. Do you really want to do that? A safsha. I suppose the deal is off. I don't have to rely on him. I can catch something myself. How come you're suddenly talking again? You've been mute since we left the caves. I was afraid. Afraid? Yes. I was stuck in a dark but safe hole for thousands of years. I don't know who I am, where I come from, where I'm going, and how this is all going to end. In addition, I'm bound to a grim woman who carries what is probably a demonic staff on her back. Of course I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't laugh! Whenever I think I've figured you out, you laugh like a perfectly normal woman again! Even the growling of your stomach is that of a plain mortal. It's high time I ate something. What? Your guide has you in the palm of his hand. He knows you'd be lost in this wilderness without him. Just wait and see. I saw an animal's burrow behind the tree. I'll catch whatever lives there and eat it. <laughs> Let Rahwan tie it up again. First, I need to coax it out. Heavy, but why would I want to lift it anyway? There would be enough room here for a trap, but I think I'll do it some other way. That won't get me any. I don't much care for random. The dagger isn't enough to fasten the pelt to the ground. The logs are too... Now that's just... A Won't lead to it. 
Yes, come closer. I've almost got you. I made them pointy. That's no longer necessary. I would have to remove this. I would have to remove the stakes again first. I would have to rem. No, I don't much. There would be enough room here for a trap. I hope the stakes stay in place. The dagger isn't enough. Let Rahwan tie it up again. I made them pointy. They're pointy and I would have to rem I've already got a hand. Very good. Now it's far enough from its burrow to What shall I fasten it to? What shall I... F I would have to remove the stake. I made them point. That'll never I would have to remove this. I made them a totally no I would have to remove the stakes again first. A 
I hope the I would have to re I hope the stakes I would have to remove. 